Hi everyone, this is Phil from Osprey Games, and I'm really excited to be telling you about one of our upcoming titles, Zoo Ball. Specifically, I'm going to be telling you how to play the two-player head-to-head -head game. If you're interested in finding out how the four-player game works, the link for that is in the description. Now, in Zoo Ball, you're going to be taking control of a team of four animals playing the single biggest game in the animal kingdom, Zoo Ball. The team consists of three blockers. These are your big brawny guys there to defend your goal, push your own score forward, and make a path. But most importantly, you have a single score. It's the only piece you have that can actually earn you any points. You get this piece into your opponent's goal, and you're golden. As in any sport, you get the most goals first, you've won. To set up a two-player game, each player gets a team of four, takes their score, puts it on the star in the circle. In the two-player game, the circles are the goals you're aiming for, and the players will decide if they want to use the smaller circle for more experienced players, or the bigger one for beginners. Before they place any of the rest of the pieces, you have to determine who goes first. We recommend flipping a tile, heads or tails. Once you determine who goes first, that player will simply place their defenders anywhere on their side of the pitch, whilst their opponent in return does the same. Once I've done that, the game begins. And on my turn, and on every turn, I have a very important choice. Now I can flick my score. I'm going to have to do that because I only score if my score gets into goal. But once I flick my score, that's turnover. Alternatively, I am allowed to flick all three of my defenders. And I can use those to push opponents out the way, get back into defense, or even, with the right setup, push myself towards goal. Regardless of which of those two options I take, turn the to my opponent and go back and forth until my score is fully within the opponent's goal. I do that, I score a point, we reset and do the same thing again, and it's first to three. The only final rule you need to worry about is that if and when a piece goes off the edge of the board, you're going to reset as closely as you can to where it came off, uh, even if it goes all the way off the mat. The one exception is that if my piece goes off the board on your side, say my walrus here goes all the way over there, I instead reset it over on my side again as closely in line as I can, meaning that I can't just power my pieces forward, I'm also going to have to use some finesse. And that's how you play the two-player version of Zupal. I hope you've enjoyed that video. If you have, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to find out more about the game or order it, the link for that will be in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching.